It's interesting, man. Damn, Bruce Payne. Bruce Payne. Bruce Payne, let us know, man. Yeah, school, yeah, school, my fault. This one is called for him. Oh, for him, I got you, my man. Every day for him, in my hand goes my face and my pen. And I began to spread the word like a shepherd spreads a grazing herd. See, I've been blessed with two spiritual gifts, the ability to play music and through him write words to inspire and uplift. Not to preach or teach, but try to reach anyone who's at the end of their road and lost hope, but found fear, whose life is full of so much despair that they believe that nobody cares. And I know how that feels because I've been there. See, there was a time when I felt so alone. I lived in a shelter because I didn't have a home. No longer wanting to try, just letting life pass me by, a lost soul. Then the Lord sent an earthbound angel to rescue me. Her name was Kimberly, and I could still feel the warmth of her embrace, but she held me so tight. And I cried as she prayed for me. She said that a hug and a prayer was all that she had to give. But I needed to go talk to him and get my life back and start to live. So on the advice of a friend, I went to him and he helped me find my way. And that might sound a little cliche, but standing before you is living proof of the truth and the words I say. Can I get an amen? Amen. Let me say that one more time again. If it wasn't for him, I would not be here today. Now I'm not saying all my trouble went away. In fact, I have more, but standing before you, I have my keys to my house over my front door. I looked up to him, I reached up to him, and I let go. I let go of my fear, I started to care. He put his hand on, his shoulder, on my shoulder, and that's why I'm still here. And I tell my story everywhere. And I end the story just like I began, every day for him, and my hand goes my pen. I want to be somebody, somebody. I want to be somebody to come home to. I want to share all the joys and all the sadness, all the things that somebody's go through. I want to cuddle in silence and know that nothing's wrong. I want to never run out of words, stay up and talk all night long. I want to apologize right now for that splash that I heard at 3 o'clock in the morning. I could have let the call this up. But how can it remote? <laughs> but I have enough skills with crazy glue to fix that favorite cup of hers I broke. I want to be somebody, somebody. I want to cook somebody's dinner because somebody takes turn. Hear those words coming out the bedroom. Better not let that dinner burn. Now the dinner never burns because there's somebody who loves to cook. I want to see that look when a fine woman passes by. Doesn't know the look I'm talking about. If you look, you die. <laughs> I want to treat somebody right because I know what treatment is wrong. I want to write somebody love letters, a poem, or maybe a song. Aww. Somebody said that there's somebody for everybody, and somebody else said that that's a fact. If that's so true, can somebody please tell me where's my somebody at? <laughs>